Prescription medication overdoses are the leading cause of drug overdose deaths in Oklahoma. New on two, reporter Sarah Goldenberg introduces us to one program trying to change that one pill at a time. It is the silent cancer in Oklahoma. It, if it goes unchecked and unnoticed, it will kill more Oklahomans. Daryl Weaver is the director of the Oklahoma Bureau of Narcotics. He says prescription drug abuse is on the rise and they're taking action to stop it. If we save one life in this area, in the Tulsa area, uh, then it's worth it. Saturday, OBN held a prescription take-back program at five drug warehouses in Tulsa County. Sheriff deputies were on hand to weigh and dispose of expired medication. There's no reason for these drugs to be in these cabinets. Weaver says it's important to keep these medications away from kids and even teens who could abuse them. They're legal. They're necessary. There's all those things. But they are drugs. They have a street value. People are bringing in old prescriptions like this for more than safety reasons, but also for environmental concerns. Alfred Pirtle used to treat water for the city of Tulsa. He hates to see expired medication wind up in our water. Enough chemicals goes into the water to keep it clean without adding all these drugs. He thinks the drop-off program is a good idea. You don't think about it. What goes into the water, you're going to drink it. Eventually. Karen Moore was surprised to see how fast medications fill her cabinets. I've had a few surgeries in the last couple of years and they just kind of uh, piled up. She's happy to have room in her cabinets now and peace of mind. To keep it out of the landfills is very important to do and to keep it out of the water, our water system. Um, they endanger tremendously our environment that way. Sarah Goldenberg, 2 News, works for you. Organizers say they had a great turnout. They expect to hold the program again next year.